Okay, hey everybody, uh, it's your host Robert Lucas again, uh, this is part two of the video of, uh, getting the Olympus Viewer 2, uh, so what I was going to do is I'm going to go to all programs and open up the Olympus Viewer 2 again. So, uh, let me check here. I already showed you guys the video, or not video, but I uh, think about the Jets. So, uh, by the way, right now it's uh, nighttime. I'm in my room, and it's uh, completely dark in here. So, that's why you can't see me. Um, jets and other aircraft. That's where the other sh thing should be. Um, L. Okay, moon pigs. Dang it. That's all pictures of the moon that I've taken. Mountains. Trying to look for something here. Birds at house. Okay. Uh, this is kind of difficult to decide which type of thing. Okay, outdoor. Okay. Oh, by the way. Uh. This thing here, hold up, that thing there is the uh, Lockheed Martin RCF facility base out in uh, Hellendale. So, to make it easier to see, I'll go to contrast 25, or maybe a little bit more. Yeah, 90 should do pretty good. So, as you can see, here's some buildings. I don't know. I can't. You can't tell anything of what's over there because the thing's so dang blurry. That's one of the good things about the camera. Even though it's got 40 times zoom, that 40 times zoom, that zoom level comes at a good, at a big cost. Like, uh, for example, on hot days, you're going to see effects like this on where it's all blurry, on where you can't see anything real good. So, um, outdoor, nighttime, Olympus sample. Uh, this is all stuff from some other time. Picks the 3DS. This is all... This is all the stuff that I've taken to my 3DS. I think, personally, I think the best picture I've taken was this one. That one seems pretty good to me. Although you can see that the 3D effect was on. And, um, pics of Hot Wheels cars. So I'd taken a whole bunch of those pics of iPad 4. Actually, these were things that I've taken, that I've tried to take with the pixels in it. Um, pics, pics, that's all the different pixels. Like, for example, this is all the blue pixels on the laptop, the same laptop that I'm using right now. Uh, this is kind of. Notice all that. But, um, rainbows. Okay, so this is real good. This is a real good example of some things that you'd have to uh, correct. Like, uh, as you can see on here, or you cannot barely, you can barely see the thing. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to saturation and increase that. 
But notice on how it's mainly that the red is being shown. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to color balance, and if you just notice, just barely, uh, there's some blue, like right around here. Ooh, that's a little too much. But, uh, here, oops, dang it. Uh, I'm going to go to maintain luminance. Wait, maybe that's not the right type of blue. So what I'm going to do is that it's a little bit too much. Okay. Then increase green. Wait, maybe not. I don't know. This thing's kind of difficult. As you can tell, uh, rainbows are very difficult to work with for uh, correcting. However, I can also produce the same thing that the saturation just did by going to the brightness and contrast. Well, let me. And increasing the. Oh, maybe not. Uh, it worked one time with something. But, uh, let's see. This is all from an older camera. Uh, sunrise, sunset. So you can tell I can take pretty good sun. You can take pretty good sunset pictures with it. Okay. Trains. Trees and plants. Okay. Uh, let's see. Here, I'll uh, go to here, uh, Rob Luke 830, uh, my pictures, this has more stuff in it, uh, well, I gotta, this is all taken with my Nintendo, but anyways, like, for example, you probably know that beaches and stuff are portions of where you get not all that great a contrast. So here, I'm going to go to auto. So, notice on how that's much brighter now. Oh, notice on how it looks much better. But anyways, one thing that I had done is that I had also increased the saturation one time just by a little bit. Like, 47 seems to do pretty good, as you can tell. But it seems to make it look really good. And you can see there people sitting. Now, that spot is something of the sun. Now, that area right there is where the sun's at. You can just barely see a ship right there. Or probably you wouldn't be able to see it. Because uh, I can't even control the uh, thing here. But as you can see, there's somebody that was going to throw a rock. Um, let's see. These are all pictures of Grand Canyon. Um, let's see. Um, here. How about for something I show you guys? Hold on, let me check the amount of time that's been recording. Oh, nine minutes. So, um, this is all, okay, that's, Dell Web Lopez, oh yeah, that's the one that I just came from, hmm, VBS pictures, okay, wait a minute, I have these pictures, and, oh yeah, never mind. Um, science project, okay, there's some rainbows as well, 
but hold on. I just saw this picture right here. This is a picture that I had taken. Um, let's see. Right here, you can see Jupiter. Here, uh, there you can probably hear me better now. So, as you can tell, the thing is really dim. Um, I'm going to go to uh, hue and saturation and then lightness all the way up. Notice on how it appears much better. Now then. You can also see the stars around Jupiter just barely. Um, let's see. I know one time I had taken a rallies, tried to take a picture of Saturn. That's Jupiter. I tried take. Wait, I think that's it. Uh, maybe not. That's Mars. Ah, here it is. Notice the. You wouldn't be able to see it all that great, but. Um, let's see. Sermon pics. Oh, that's all the stuff. Dad's thing. Sunset pictures. PBS pictures. Okay. Um. Well, I guess this could conclude this, but let me check something here. Tell webcam central. Doesn't have anything, it looks. Angel's birthday. Okay. Ah. Okay, there we go. Um, yeah, I guess I could conclude it. Let me check here. Yeah. I basically showed you guys all the stuff. Okay, 11.25.24, or 11.25.14, okay. This would be a good example to show auto-tone correction. Notice, you can see the stars really good right here, right there, and right there. That's with the auto-tone correction on. You can still see them very well. Now then, here's the Ryan Nebula, and that's what it looks like there. So, goodbye guys, uh, have a great time, and just hope you keep this in mind. Olympus Viewer 2 is really good, is a really good uh, uh, editing program for uh, image files and stuff like that, so... Oh, you can download it on getolympus.com, I think, or I can't remember the Olympus uh, website, but if any of you guys know, uh, you can tell me about it in the comments section. So, hope you guys enjoy your time, and let's see. Okay, 14. I gotta stop it right now, so, uh,